Hey and welcome to another video from Precision Rifle Reviews. I'm Tristan and today we're taking a look at my 2019 Australian PRS series uh, comp rifle. I'm going to be shooting the production series which means that, uh, very long story short, it has to be a 100% a production gun. It cannot be modified with the exception of a few little things for different uh, manufacturers, i.e. people that don't have box magazines can. Um, it cannot be a, uh, a modified rifle at all. So given that, I have opted for a very nice uh, ticker, CTR, uh, which is an acronym for the Compact Tactical Rifle. But as they have progressed, uh, the compactness of them <laughs> um, has kind of gone by the wayside, as this one comes with a 24 or 609 millimeter barrel, which is really, really good thing. And given that I'll be shoot the type of shooting that I'm going to be doing, this particular one I've uh, got in 6.5 Creedmoor, which is going to serve my purpose quite well. So as you can see, this is the last time that you're going to see it in this configuration because the entire thing is going away for paint. Um, it's one of the things that you can do is modify the rifles to, uh, to suit your own sort of needs and likes and wants and that sort of thing without a performance review. So paint obviously not being a performance, um, sorry, without being a performance upgrade. So paint not being a performance upgrade, they're the type of things that I can do. So this is our one chance for you guys to see a CTR with the 24 inch barrel um, as a CTR. So let's just, because it is so quickly, rip everything aftermarket for PRS off the rifle and, uh, and we'll go straight from there. So the round holder on the side is off in two seconds. The ring system that I'm going to be using in 2019 is the uh, one piece spur rings. Now we have done a review on these rings. They are my favorite rings by far. And uh, we're definitely gonna be using those on all of our rifles. So there's that one off and we're also running the March 3 to 24 by 42 first focal plane uh, rifle scope. Um, on the side of the scope here we have a um, you know sort of dope or uh, um, dope card holder um, which is your data on previous engagement. Um, getting very much closer to what a standard CTR looks like. We have previously reviewed the IKS, I think it is, Marksmanship Cheek Rest, very good thing. Off with the tab gear sling, leaving only the front bag from Area 419 and Atlas Bipod, which will have its own review in time to come. And here we have a 100% standard ticker CTR in 6.5. The only thing that is not standard on this rifle is the rail, which we've also had a look at in a previous video. Uh, from BT Industries um, and also as a factory option this little foregrip just clips on so that doesn't come with the rifle but um, but it just clips on this is what we're dealt with so let's have a close look shall we first and foremost thing with uh, any rifle safety I can see there's no ammunition in it and if I cycle the bolt I can see that there's nothing in it so it's safe for us to handle the action, as you just saw there, is absolutely butter smooth on these rifles. Just one finger effortlessly up and down. Very, very good. You see here at the back of the uh, action, there's a witness indicator. Uh, the witness indicator is uh, for your cocked indicator. So basically, that shows you that the rifle is cocked. The safety is just a simple two position safety. Back is safe and the trigger is rock solid. It doesn't even have a mill of movement in it. Forwards is quite obviously shoot. Once the rifle is on lock, the bolt is locked up and it will not cycle. The trigger on the CTR, if we can get the camera to come in and have a look at the trigger brake on this because it is like butter crisp smooth. Very, very good. Um, the trigger is adjustable. Basically all you need to do is put an Allen key in. You do take the action out, put an Allen key into the front of it and, uh, and it just pops straight out. Now the CTR has a TRG style 10 round box magazine. This is not a, well, it's a double stack in the way that they stack, but they're not a top feed like the 85. They're like the Seiko TRG. So you do need to slide each, each round in individually. 
and they just pop in. It's ambidextrous, so you can uh, get that trigger out from either side. Uh, the box, sorry, the trigger out, the magazine out from either side. As you can see there, it just drops out very, very quickly. Um, one of the things that changed for the T3X was the ejection port, so you can single feed a little bit uh, easier. It's a bit bigger. The pistol grip now, as you can see here, you just unscrew this uh, screw and this piece here is actually removable and adjustable so you can put different colors and different ones in with all sorts of different bits and pieces. The CTR does come with a uh, Picatinny rail which is a fantastic thing and just as I go along the top here, one, two, three, four, five uh, screws standard across the top of it. You do have another one here which is for a um, for a Mirage band if you wanted to run it. Now, 24 inch barrel with the, what is it, uh, 5 8 by 24 threaded muzzle from the factory. So that's a, that's a good thing that you've got a threaded muzzle ready for a brake or suppressor if you're allowed to do it. The barrel contour is a semi heavy barrel. Um, it's in, I'm just reading off my cheat sheet here. It's a one in eight twist for the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, that's basically an overview of the rifle. If I turn it over, you can see this is the blued finish. There is a stainless steel as well, but this is the blued. And there is an, also an option, which this one is for the adjustable stock. So if I just roll that over, all that we need to do, I've got it done up quite tight at the moment. You just release that one and there you go. You've got your height adjustable. You've got a sling start at the front. You've got a sling stud here, which you can swap from here to here. You can have two sling studs if you wanted to. Normally it's just a screw, which I've got out at the moment because it's holding this into, into position. But that's just a brief overview of the Ticker CTR uh, in 6.5 Creedmoor. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, go ahead and like it, share it around, subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't, but I'll see you on the next video.